Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Pastors. We're glad you've joined us. And today, uh, Travis and I are going to tackle one that you feel pretty confident yeah, about, I love, right? I love this question. I think it's a great question. The question is, are there words that I can use with my non-Christian friends that aren't necessarily Christian. Mm -hmm. Is that a succinct way to ask the question? Yeah, how do you how do you stay away from insider lingo or okay. Christian lingo that they have no context with that you're gonna have to define or does that make sense? Kind it of does, yeah. slow you down a little bit or confuse them, get in the weeds. And that question leads Great to question. more questions, but let's just tackle that one first. Yeah. And I want you to get take a shot at it. Yeah. Are there some is there some language mm -hmm. that might help us in our outreach? Yeah. I've thought about this a lot because I feel like when you have a conversation, there's like a hurdle that you have to cross from like, hey neighbor, how's the weather? To all of a sudden, hey, now I need to talk to you about justification. <laughs> like that's a, that's a big hurdle. So I, that's why I really appreciate this question because I feel like I've wrestled with this a lot. So I'll, I'll throw out a few sure. that I've had some luck with, I guess, or that have gone well for me. Uh, I think some words that everyone understands are maybe some legal terms is sometimes what we say, like guilt, Okay. or penalty, or um, um, justice. Those, those are mm, things... Especially now, that's a hot one. Absolutely. Mm. And those are terms that everyone knows the basic definition for them that you can relate to our relationship with God. And then more on the positive side, I think words that everybody understands are, are mercy, forgiveness, mm. um, or debt canceled, those type of things. So I think when you help people maybe have a, a conversation about justice comes up or forgiveness. Those are easy words that you can tell a story about that everyone understands, even though they are, they are biblical terms. They are Christianese mm -hmm. words, but they're also words that everybody understands. Those are to be some of my, um, yeah, teasers, I guess, some words that I would, I would bring up in conversation. Yeah. And I would agree with that hundred percent. Mm -hmm. And I think <clears throat> in this conversation, we're, we're prompted to ask this question, when do I bring those words mm -hmm. up? Because even if you're just kind of holding those words as tools and you throw them out randomly or without an awareness of the situation, yeah. that can seem weird then too. Yep. So I think even a deeper question is, mm -hmm. how do we uh, you know, formulate a timing for yes. even using those words? Yep. Any insight there, Travis? Yeah, well, I think... Um, You've used this phrase a lot. You've got to be willing to cross the pain line. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is just true of every conversation. But I do think, um, I'm, I'll just think about my neighbor for an example. We've had lots of conversations. And over time, the conversations have gotten more serious. Okay. Which I feel like is him saying, Travis, I'm willing to go deep. I'm willing to have conversations not about our lawn, but about our life. And so he is giving me the opportunity to say, go ahead, buddy. We can talk about anything now. And so I feel like I've got the green light with him to cross the pain line, and he'll hear, yeah. it, hear it well. So that's where you might start with some of these words that he's yep. familiar with, but it could lead to understanding more about what those words means from, from God's perspective. Yeah. A couple others I think we've, we've talked about are joy, um, peace, mm -hmm. um, sure. love. Those are things that are normal words we would use in a typical conversation so I can transition into the spiritual mm. what realm. Yeah, I was at my neighbor's house Saturday, mm. kind of spur of the moment, and he was having some water issues, and I was over there constantly thinking, how can this turn into a, an opportunity to ask a question about something more important? Because mm -hmm. something was needing fixed. I couldn't fix it. He couldn't fix it. We were kind of in a bind, and he's not from this country, so mm. when I said the words in a bind, he didn't know what that meant. Interesting. Huh. And I never really got the open door that day. We've mm. talked several times, but it's the same thing you're talking about. I was trying to find words yep. that I could use that might lead to mm -hmm. a deeper conversation. It didn't happen Saturday, yeah. but uh, we'll have more opportunity. Yeah. Here's a question I want to ask you that follows us up, and then we can, um, we'll, kind of, we'll kind of close this down. But those words, at some point, wouldn't you agree? Maybe you don't. I'm going to throw this out to you. Okay. They have to lead at some point to God's definition of yeah. those words because we can't just rely on man's wisdom, according to 1 Corinthians 2, right? right? We have to bring God's wisdom in, which is Christ crucified. Right. So how does one navigate this idea? Like, I want to find words that get me started, but yeah. you have to be willing to embrace some kind of biblical language and yeah. definition based on God's story. That's right. 
Even words like justice or mm -hmm. or guilt or crucifixion. Uh, oh yeah, there's those words that we do believe have a different definition, right? Yes. According to God's standard, that's wrath. Yeah, that that is different. Yeah, you're right. I think there all there has to be a moment where you cross the pain line mm. and you just say, "Hey, I need to talk to you about God." Like, let's just make that clear change in conversation. Now I want to tell you about what I've been what I believe about Jesus, what I believe about God. You're right. There has to be a moment where you just, you, you take it. Yeah. You, you take that risk you dive that in. Jump and say, <laughs> okay, we need to talk about our relationship, our standing with our heavenly father. And, and you don't have to, this is what I think the question was getting at. We don't have to use words necessarily like justification, right? We don't have True. to use imputation, Ex granted, substitutionary yes. atonement, mm -hmm. Let's, or penal substitution, yeah. right? Maybe we can stay away from those words, but there are words I don't think we. But can you avoid. you can't stay away from that concept. No, right. For so, someone to be born again, they have to see that Christ took their place and right. their punishment. Yeah. So how we explain that yeah. may be up for grabs, but we have to. You have to. That's part of the equation. That's right. So I think some of the good news is this: that in this process, or we can call it a journey of like trying to find words that might open the door and then yeah. moving to definitions and concepts that are biblical, it's the Holy Spirit that actually yeah. brings the light yeah. in that moment. Yeah. So we shouldn't be afraid at yeah. some point to trust the Holy Spirit to bring what they call illumination That's and right. to flip the switch for them. That's and right. they'll get it. Yeah. And if they don't, it must be the Holy Spirit's not working in that moment. Yeah. It could be that we're just not explaining it well. but. Yeah. That you can't explain someone into the kingdom. That's right. They're born into the kingdom by the Holy Spirit. So I, I would encourage our folks, even in this effort of trying to yeah. use yeah. easier words, don't be afraid mm -hmm. to trust the Spirit to give insight into concepts that have to be there for and, true spiritual birth. And He will help you. He will oh, yeah. give you the words to say. Amen. And He'll help him. those words make sense to people exactly we're talking to. Right. Yeah. Even if you fumble. Well, we will fumble. Yeah. He will help you. <laughs> we will. That's His role. Amen. That's, good. That's a good question. I appreciate those words that mm -hmm. are culturally kind of known yeah. and they can lead us to greater gospel conversations. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that advice. But we will always be maybe a little weird. And that's Amen. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's right. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Hope this has been helpful and we'll see you next time on the Ask the Pastors podcast.